Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us uh, go through the architecture of a distributed file system. Okay, so there are two different architectures, guys. Okay, so one first architecture we will be discussing the common architecture, client server architecture. After that, we will be discussing in our next lecture, we will be discussing the clustering architecture. Okay, yes. So architecture, the way how we arrange the components or the devices or the systems, we will be calling them as architecture. So the first type is nothing but client server architecture among which NFS is popular guys. So your question will be what is NFS first of all. So NFS is nothing but a network file system guys. Okay. So NFS is nothing but a network file system is a distributed file system developed by Sun Microsystems. Okay. So the model underlying NFS and similar systems is that of a remote file server. So basically the whole concepts are, re are revolving around the remote file servers guys. Okay. Okay, so the idea behind NFS is that each file server provides a standard view of the local file system. Okay, so if you want me to explain in a simple way, what is this NFS? So NFS is nothing but network file system, guys. So assume that you are working in a huge company, okay, and you want to share a file with each and everyone. So the thing that you will be doing is you will be just placing your file on the server or on the network so that everyone can access and download, guys. So this sharing of your file system or files is nothing but a network file system guys. Okay. Okay. So this is the previous model which we used to use but nowadays it's updated guys. So this is a previous model where remote client access model where client will be requesting for something and the server will be responding for something. Okay. So that is nothing but your previous model and similarly we are having upload and download model also whereas the server can download or he can request for request for files and he can re-upload the file. So that's nothing but download and upload. Okay. Yes. I wrote the same steps here. Okay. So among which all the current day we are using this NFX Unix architecture guys. Okay. So this is strongly used. Okay. So NFS is implemented using the virtual file system abstraction, which is now used for a lot of different operating systems. So it is not only for Unix guys, most of the operating system like Windows and all those are using this architecture only. Okay. So we are having client and server. So basically client does some system calls. Okay. And that system calls the files, whatever he is requesting will be passed to the virtual file system. So in virtual file system, we will be writing the code in such a way that it will decide whether it is in the local file system or it should get from the server guys. So if it is in the local file system, it will be collecting from there. Else it will send it to NFS client and NFS client will be informing the remote processor call like invoking the remote processor call and it will send the information to the server remote processor call and he will be requesting the NFS server and there the search will be done and from the local storage you will be getting the file. So this is the whole architecture guys. You can just explain in your own words guys. Okay. What I explained you can write in your own words. I think I have written for this part. Okay. So a client accesses the file system using the system calls provided by the local operating system instead of fetching directly in local storage. Here we maintain a virtual file system which interacts with the both local and distributed file system. Hence based on the request of data, pass it to local and collected from database or using NFS client with RPC data is requested and collected from other devices. So this is the basic flow guys. If you ask me this is NFS is one of the most important topic guys. So you might be having it out that okay. So are there any list of operations? So these are the list of operations guys. Guys this I'm showing just for your understanding guys. There is nothing to remember or nothing to scan all these things and write in examination because there will be no use. Just understand that we are having two different versions. Okay. And versions did change with some operations guys. Okay. We'll be discussing about these versions also. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So just for a glance, I'm just showing it to you. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about the NFS file system. So in the next lecture, we will be discussing about a cluster based distributed file system guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.